Good day, everyone. Ever since I did my last video on people peeves, a lot of listeners have written in with their peeves too. And I thought I just must do this follow-up video for a laugh and to know more about the people who we encounter. So let's go. There are some people who have been born to make mountains out of molehills. The littlest thing is magnified into such dimensions that they can be easily seen from the seventh galaxy. It's amazing how these people have to be the central character in every self-created drama. And that's all they do, from the raising of the curtain to the curtain call, and there's never going to be an encore, believe me. But they have to be at the center of everything. It is only they who have been called upon to have the, all the OMG moments in life. What they don't know is that we, the viewers on the outside, have long since forgotten them because they really don't interest us. It's just that they talk so much about themselves that they don't realize that everyone around them has totally tuned out. There are those who talk loudly, whether on the phone or in restaurants, public places, some years ago, I was doing a training at a hotel in Bandra. And during the break, I visited the washroom. And you know, the washrooms in these five-star hotels are very swanky. There's a sitting area before you get into the bathroom stalls. And I was sitting there patiently waiting my turn to enter one of the bathrooms when they were free. And there was this... 30-ish something woman combing her hair in front of the mirror, applying her lipstick and talking at the same time to a friend who was in the bathroom stall. And she told her about her mother-in-law. She complained about her husband who was always taking his mother's side. And it went on and on and on. And by the time the friend came out from the bathroom stall, everyone who was sitting in the waiting area knew all the problems of this young woman. And I really thank God that there were no divorce lawyers sitting there because they would have initiated divorce proceedings on the spot. There are some people who irritate me on WhatsApp when they ask for votes. You know, sometimes on WhatsApp, you get these messages saying, my daughter is entering this competition or I have entered this competition and I need your votes to win. So please, please, please click on that link below and vote for me. Now, there are two things here. I don't know you. So I don't know how good you are. And if you were that good, would you need to ask for votes? I rest my case. In the same view of WhatsApp, you know, there's so much going on in WhatsApp. There are bound to be images that are repeated and forwarded to you and you in turn forward them to someone else. It's all innocent and harmless. But there are those who take great umbrage of this and say, oh, you sent this to me three weeks ago. I don't remember what I did yesterday. And you expect me to remember what I sent you three weeks ago? Or they huff up and they say, oh, I've seen this before. It's been sent to me. Doofus. Just be happy that someone remembers you and sends you something. I too get a lot of these forwards, repeated forwards from you, 
But I don't tap up and say, I've seen this before. I do what I ought to do with you. I just delete the messages. A friend of mine spoke to me about her husband, and I think this is classic with all husbands. She was very tired at the end of the day, and she had just sat down at five in the evening to read the morning's paper. And her husband pointedly looked at the clock and he said, well, should I make a cup of tea, dear? And his wife got very excited and said, oh yes, I'd, I'd like that. Well, the clock kept ticking and ticking and ticking and there was no sign of that cup of tea arriving. Well, she looked at him a couple of times, but he ignored her. He was too busy looking at some cricket match or football match happening on television. And she did what any self-respecting wife would do. She never gave him the tea. They did without tea that day. And her reasoning is, well, when he said, should I make a cup of tea, dear? Well, if he could have, I'm sure he would have. But since he couldn't, well, I wouldn't. Bully for her, I loved her for this one. At a restaurant, when you go out with friends, there will always be one friend who doesn't like what has been ordered. But I have this one irritating friend who never says, well, I'm not quite sure I like the taste of this. She in turn will say, what's so great about this? I can make it. Finally, it just got too much for me. And since I always call a spade a spade, I told her, I said, listen, tomorrow we're coming to your home and you are going to replicate this meal and let us judge whether your meal is better than this. Well, she never, at least for the rest of the evening, spoke about her culinary expertise and she never invited me to her home ever. Doctors are another bane of our existence. This doctor will bound up to you so joyfully and say, well, how are we today? How are we today? Well, doctor, I'm here because I feel like something the cat has dragged out of the gutter. And why are we using the royal we? I hope you are well, otherwise you're not going to be of any help to me. So keep those peeves coming in. I enjoy doing them because it's always nice to know about the different types of people we are surrounded by. Have a great day.